Okay, when you look at a clock, you have learned that there are 12 hours. Every one of the big numbers represents an hour. Maybe you have made the connection that you could take a number line and when you put it in a big circle, 12 is there at the top, it actually it's this way, and, it, and the clock is just a number line. Six is on the bottom, 12 is on the top. The clock is a number line that goes around and it actually counts 12 hours, but that's actually 60 minutes going around. So, we're gonna look today about how the clock, go, it goes around, the hour hand goes around two times in a day. 12 and then 12 again, making 24 hours in our day. So, if you start at 12 o'clock, we're gonna call this 12 o'clock a.m. And a.m. is the time that it is early, early in the morning, like 12 o'clock a.m., you are probably asleep, it's midnight. We call this midnight. And mid means middle, night, middle of the night, right? That's whenever we are all sleeping, but that's actually whenever our morning hours begin starting and counting. So when we have AM, we can start counting, and I'm gonna get a different color here, to count it goes to one o'clock AM. So we could say one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, and this is gonna keep going all the way, and about five or six o'clock, somewhere right in here, you are probably getting up to head to school. So right in here, it starts, it's not time. Uh, eight o'clock, I'm gonna keep writing these. Nine o'clock, you're at school. 10 o'clock, mid-morning, 11 o'clock, and then 12 o'clock. And oh, you may notice that I had 12 o'clock there because something is changing. So here the moon is out and it is, um, we are, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw me a moon, okay? And a couple of stars. You are sleeping. But as time goes on in the a.m., that's whenever the sun is coming out. Beautiful sunshine. I'm gonna draw that and we call that a.m., okay? So all your morning activities are happening. So for the first 12 hours, you're sleeping part of it, you're getting up, your morning activities are happening, but boom, it hits 12 o'clock again. That hour hand has gone all the way around. And whenever that happens, we're gonna call that 12 o'clock noon. Maybe you've heard someone say, it's almost noon. That just means 12 o'clock, right in the middle of the day, noon. So you may know the sun is still out during that time. It's going into the afternoon, but this time, the sun starts going down. We have a sunset and the sun is going down and it goes back into, if I were to label all of these times, you have one o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock, three o'clock. That's when we're getting out of school. Four o'clock, hopefully you're playing outside. Five o'clock, maybe you're getting ready for dinner. Six o'clock, you're with your family. Seven o'clock, it's time to do our homework and get our bath and get ready for the next day of school and learning. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and we are back to 12 o'clock. And if I were to take this and put it back into the circle, we are back to that midnight again. So there is our 24 hours that we have had. So as the sun goes down, the, the moon comes back out, okay? This is our afternoon. So we're gonna call this the a.m. part. This is our morning. Okay, and this is our afternoon or our evening, okay? So, we're gonna sort some things. So I'm gonna put these labels up here. So we've called the first part, and I kind of remember it, it has a big long word that we probably wouldn't be able to remember, but A-M is at the morning. So maybe you can remember at morning, okay? And that will help you with A-M. And then P-M, happens afternoon. And so this is our evening. So I'm gonna label these, but then we're gonna look at some different activities we do throughout the day and talk about when those happen. And we're just gonna sort them. So I want you to look closely with me. Let's take this one back here. The first one says doing your schoolwork after school. When would you do that? Would you do that in the morning, the a.m.? Or would that happen in the afternoon, which is in the p.m.? That's right, that one's the afternoon. You're probably doing your schoolwork after school, after you get home, right? What about rise and shine? It's time to get out of bed. 
That one would probably, that's the at the morning, that's a.m., right? So a.m., right here, you're probably getting out of the bed around six or seven o'clock. What about eating breakfast? A.m., awesome. So this one's also here in the morning. What about, um, what about reading before you go to bed? That one's in the evening. So that one's peeing. That one's over here, right? Okay, what about brushing your teeth before you go to school? A.M. That one's happening right in here about this same time in the morning. What about driving to school? Getting up, going to school. That's at the morning. There's your A.M. as well. So that's another A.M. one. What about packing up at the end of the day to go home? If you were at school, you would be doing that in the afternoon. So there's a, a PM. Good. What about eating dinner? Dinner's in the evening. That's PM. So we're just sorting some of these things and seeing that our day happens by the morning and then the afternoon. Let's do a couple more. Um, this one's really tricky. Lunchtime. Now it's really according to what time your lunchtime happens. Because if your lunch happens at 11 o'clock right here, do you notice how close that is to, boom, it's really, really close to noon? Okay, so 11 o'clock is only one hour away. Excuse my squeaky clock. It's only one hour away from being 12 o'clock at noon. So a.m. happens, happens, happens until 11.59. And then whenever it goes to 12 o'clock noon, all of a sudden we switch to p.m. So every time it hits 12 o'clock, we're either switching to p.m. or we're switching back to a.m. And I'm gonna label that on here, okay? So that you can see 12 o'clock on the dot, we switch to p.m. And whenever it gets back in the middle of the night, it goes back to a.m. Because remember, we've started all over and that's actually back over here. So if you go to lunch or you eat lunch at 11 o'clock in the morning, then that one's over here. We're gonna call that a.m. All second graders right now, though, at school eat lunch at 12.30. They eat halfway in between the 12 o'clock and the 1 o'clock. It's like right here. So if you notice on my timeline here that I've made, it's after 12 o'clock. We actually, at school this year, second graders eat in the p.m. We eat in the afternoon. We barely are in the p.m., but we do. So lunchtime is kind of tricky according to what time it is. It could be a.m. if it's before 12 o'clock. But if it's 12 o'clock or after, then it's p.m. All right, guys, our last one, driving home from school. Um, and we do that in the afternoon about the time we leave. That's right here, so it's in the p.m. All right. I want you to think about your daily schedule and things that you do while you're at home and with your family. And think, see if you can think about what happens in the a.m. first part. And you can even make this chart at home and what happens in the p.m. 24 hours in a day, the clock, remember we go around the clock two times. All right, see you later.